welcome back everybody. So today I wanted to kind of make a porter recipe. It is winter here in Michigan and I thought it would be fun to make like a smoked porter. Maybe a uh, chocolate cherry smoked porter. I've never made one before. So I do have Beersmith uh, new recipe set up. As you can see it is all grain. Boil time right now is 60 minutes. Um, I am using my equipment. So let's just take a look at a standard porter. Uh, we know it's not going to be hot that much, but I would say we want anywhere from 30 to 50 IBUs just to balance stuff out. So let's go to the style and let's Let's pick American Porter right here and just kind of see what Beersmith is showing us. So um, it's saying that we should have a 1050 to 1070 SG uh, IBUs 25 to 50, uh, like I said, 30 to 50 somewhere in there. Uh, color 22 to 40, then ABV is 4.8 to 6.5. Um, so I guess, and I do have some notes over here. I don't know exactly where this is going to end up. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this uh, just like the Deschutes Beersmith one. Let's just add some stuff and work through it and see what we get. To me... Um, obviously we are going to use two row, um, depending on what kind you can get, we'll just go with us two row. Let's just go six pounds and see what that brings out for us. Uh, so that does start us out with a 1029, which obviously that's not enough, but to me, I would say, uh, we would probably want some chocolate, uh, malts in here if we are going to make a chocolate cherry. So let's go ahead and put some chocolate. Uh, how much do we want to use? Uh, a pound. I mean a pound to me is a lot with six pounds. So let's go 0.5 and see what that does. So our color is starting to come up down here. Our uh, gravity is still low. Um, I, like I said, I do have some notes. Let's go ahead and add some 40L in here uh, and see what that does. We'll go half a pound. Oops. Like that. Uh, we're still low. I would say something like this might be a standard porter. Uh, just for the simple fact, if you haven't made one, I would start out with something light. So that way uh, you can get into it and see what your equipment does. Uh, but obviously we know we do have to up some of this. But because we do want a smoked porter, which I've already went in here and added it because Beersmith did not have it. Uh, we do want this cherry wood smoked. Uh, I'm going to go with a pound right now. I did look some stuff up and they did say a pound to two pounds if you want that smoked cherry flavor. I've never used it, so I don't know how much smoke we would get out of this. So we're still low. And again, I just looked up online at what this malt was. Uh, our new homebrew store and our town did have a cherry, but I don't know what it was. So I think I would have to modify this once I went in there and found out exactly what it was. So if we have a pound, so right now that's showing that's 12% of our grain bill. We might want a little bit more, but I think if anything, uh, this chocolate can go up some. There's 12, so there's a pound, obviously you're you're gonna have to play around with these specialty malts and see what you like 
versus what you don't as to how much you put in there. Obviously, the more you put in there, the more potent it's going to be. So just be careful. Let's go ahead. I'm going to change this two row. I'm going to go with 11 pounds because, again, our ABV or our estimated gravity is low. We're about 10 points low on the low end of the scale and about 30 points on the high side low. So let's do that. So that does up us to a 1064 if we go with the 11. Uh, that does drop our, our percentage of the cherry and the chocolate down to 7.4. So I would say that's kind of where you want to be. Um, looking at my notes, this is kind of the recipe that I had in mind. Um, we could probably up these uh, the 40L a little bit. So let's go ahead and increase that and see what it does. So that does get us to a 1065. Now obviously I'm going to use about 8.5 to 9 gallons of wort to boil. And this is saying it's going to be around 7 or 6.73, which I know is going to be off. So the higher I am because I know how much water I'm going to use, uh, the higher to the top end of our uh, gravity that we can get, that means we're going to be pretty good once we're done. And we will check the brewing steps just to see how they are. So if we wanted to go with something like this, again, I've never used this cherry, so I don't know if a pound's going to be enough to bring out that cherry smoked wood flavor in there. But I do know that I want to add some regular chocolate. So let's see if we can find some chocolate in here just by running down here. Okay, so I don't see it in here because these are grains so let's go ahead to miscellaneous and put in chocolate and see what we get so we do get some chocolate here and again this is going to depend on what you like uh, as far as how much you're going to want to put in here again I am looking at my notes on this so uh, let's go with eight ounces use in the boil um, we'll keep it there and see what it does for us uh, boil five minutes let's actually go down to one minute okay so next up would be IBUs now this is a porter so I have on here that I wanted to use Fuggles just running through stuff. So let's go with Fuggle. And we're going to put two ounces in. 60 minutes. Okay, let's see what that gives us. So that gives us 39.7. So we are in the middle, I would say, pretty much. And let's go ahead and put in... Kent, East Kent Goldings. Um, I think we'll just go with the top one and let's go 0.5 ounces and see what that does to our IBUs. So that does get us to the top, which I think might be a little too much. So let's back this Fuggles down to an ounce and a half. So we're at 40. I think that's okay. We are going to have a little bit left over, but I, I think that's close enough uh, for what we want to try this since I've never made, again, a smoked beer. Um, and I don't think I've made a standard porter. Uh, but our ABV is on the high side. But like I said, in mine, I do have to put in more because I do boil off two gallons per hour so I need around eight eight and a half to get down to that six 5.5 gallons going into the carboy we can probably be closer to five 
uh, gallons in this one just because we're not going to uh, dry hop or add anything in secondary. So we could get away with probably uh, eight gallons. Now, um, let's go ahead and check our mash to see what that's uh, at. Um, I do make different profiles for each one just to kind of keep it organized a little bit. I was thinking about a 155, so we'll do this 155. We'll change that just to see what that does. And let's go back to our recipe and see. So we're at about a 6.1, which I think that's fine. I think we would actually end up a little bit higher than that. So I'm okay with that. And our original gravity is okay. Bitterness is kind of on the high side, but I think that's good. Our SRM is good. Uh, it might be on the light side, but I think that might help if you wanted to give it like a cherry color. I think the it's not going to be a dark cherry, but maybe lighter. This looks like it's pure black, which I don't know why but we will keep it at that. Um, carbonation, we are doing keg. And fermentation, we are doing single. No reason to move this anywhere because uh, we're not adding anything to it. It can sit on yeast. That would be fine. Um, yeast. Now we have to, I'm gonna bring my other thing back up here real quick. Hopefully, if I can see it, which I don't think I'm going to be able to because the camera's in the way. Okay. Um, so the, the recipe that I did kind of look up is using Nottingham. I think any kind of fruit yeast would be fine. So let's go in here and let's see what it says for fruit. White Labs, uh, can we put in Porter? Nope. Um, I don't know what kind of yeast I wanna use. Wanted to see if that would bring something up. Let's just go ahead and put, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Nottingham. Um, I will be right back. Let me see what the Omega yeast is, and we're probably going to use that because I'm going to go uptown. Okay, I'm back. That took me a little bit. Obviously, I'm not very familiar with the Omega yeast, um, but looking this up, it looks like the British Ale 3 uh, is a good yeast to use, or that is the equivalent when I'm used to dealing with white labs. So we will go ahead and pick that. The only reason I wanted to look it up is I wasn't sure, and most of the time I do like to use starters. So I wanted to see uh, what I could find or if I would have to go with like a White Labs yeast. But it looks like the British 3 will work for this. So we will go with that. Uh, so we will not have to uh, do a starter. Obviously, I'm guessing you could, but we are not going to. Now, one thing that I'm not going to do, this does call for two packs. Um, we're going to just go with one if we look at what we have. Uh, it is it is a 1065 maybe we should take we should make a starter let's just play around with this and go to a starter so um let's do a one liter starter and see what we get hello is it gonna do anything um number of sale so it's saying we need uh, two, two, four, eight, and we are only at eight. Let's see if we change this to two. 
and we're still there we go so maybe i will make a two liter starter for this one just so we can get the number of cells we need so i would probably start this two days before i was going to brew just because um, I would do a step. I would start out with a one liter and then I would go to a two liter starter. So let's do that. Um, don't need to use that. Add two. Yep, we're good there. So I think this is what I'm going to go with. Uh, I will put this out uh, before the brew day. So if you guys have any questions or see something that I should change, uh, we can change it before we brew it. But let's go ahead and look at the brewing steps just to see what we have. So total water needed is nine gallons of water, which that's fine. Um, we are going to use four gallons for the the mash. Um, see, and this is where I don't get, I still need to look into it. It's saying achieve the 6.73 gallons for the boil, which is weird to me because it knows my boil off is two gallons. So if I wanted five and a half going in, that would be at least seven and a half gallons to boil so I might have to look into that and then yeah here's the 5.5 that we would go in so yeah this looks good but I will stop the video here let me know what you guys think about this see if I should change anything let me know or what you guys would change and we will get this one made so if you like this video thumbs up if you don't thumbs down make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out and until next time happy brewing